KHQA's Sensational 7. We were afforded a much richer offering of potential gridiron goodies for this week's countdown. So in the spirit of ending our football highlight drought, a pick of the litter pick six from North Shelby's Noah Greenwell here as part of the Raiders' bounce back blowout over Keatsville. Our cameras were privy to a menagerie of magnificent moonshots on the softball diamond this week. The Tigerettes of Macon doubled up for us at Highland on Tuesday night. J.C. Johnson touched things off in the top of the first with a three-run blast to left, and then Brooke Weimer helped her own cause in the circle in the fourth inning with this solo shot as part of a 7-1 win over the Lady Cougars. Meanwhile, in Cahoka on Thursday night, Ellie Hamner's towering solo blast to left against Centralia proved ultimately to be Clark County's catalyst for victory in a 5-4 win over the Lady Panthers. Hannibal Frosch sensation Aeneas Williams put on a dazzling show in Kirksville on Friday night, accounting for three touchdowns, one on the ground, and these two incredible short catches he translated into 31-yard and 20-yard yard-after-catch masterpieces in especially tight quarters. He's got those skills. But for our money, his fastest place kicker on the planet act, recovering his own onside kick right here, proves the highlight coup de gras of his evening. On the links in Rock Island on Tuesday, Lacey Novosel powered Quincy High School to a Western Big Six conference title with a dazzling 68 at Saki Golf Course. A round marked by a particularly fast start to her back nine, highlighted by a long par save at number one, and this wonderful approach and near tap and birdie to jumpstart the fun on hole number two. Well, this feels like as good as any a place to drop in our obligatory weekly Alex McCullough goodness. In ridiculously difficult wind conditions at Arrowhead on Wednesday, the Q&D golf sensation showed the craft in his game, putting up a near impossible 68 while also leading his Raiders to an upset team win over then unbeaten McComb. For comparison's sake, Alex's win was 11 strokes better than second place. Our headliner highlight this week, the fall brawl that is the Ficker Rosen versus Miles Shepard cross-country rivalry. Finally brought to fruition, and it was worth the wait. After spending the entirety of the Tom Oakley Invitational running stride for stride with one another, West Hancock Shepard disappeared behind the final hill and kicked it into high gear over the last 400 meters to exercise his Rosen Demons, winning in 15.28, three seconds faster than his rival. It is your Sensational 7 Performance of the Week, at least for this week, as we get a rematch between both of these two phenomenal competitors coming up on Saturday at Liberty's Invitational.